Hi there guys, today I'm going to be playing the demo to Craven Manor. Now Craven Manor is an upcoming survival horror first person game that's being developed by a group of students. Um, they've just released this demo that I'm playing now. Um, basically they're looking for feedback. They've asked everyone who downloaded the demo to complete a questionnaire of what they did and didn't like, all the pros and cons, what they'd like to see improved, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, right now I'm going to play maybe five or ten minutes of this game, um, give you all a look at how, how the game is, and then I'll ask you to download the game yourselves and then maybe fill out the questionnaire for, for the developers. So first things first, let's begin. Should have clicked controls. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll get to that. But from the uh, from the videos and the images I've seen of this game already, it does look very good. It does look very interesting. It might be a game to look out for. Well, I guess we'll find out. Certainly looks nice now. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in straight away. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Can I just have a look at the controls really quickly? Yes, I can. Great. Okay, move, look, deactivate. Oh, I've got a journal and a flashlight, and I can sprint as well. Great. All right, pretty simple. I suppose let's have a look at the journal first before we get started. Craven Manor. My search for answers has to start sometime. I just wish I had picked a better night. Hmm. Okay. No idea what I'm doing here, but let's explore. It does look very nice. Okay. I guess uh, things shine if they can be used or looked at. And I really want to know what this is. There's, there seems... There seem, that didn't sound good. There seems to be a light coming out of this uh, little cabinet thing. What? What's inside this? What? 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 There's so many questions. Right, first of all, what is this? A token. A heavy bronze ornament engraved with the letters KM. Yes, I also see the letters KM up there. I think uh, the Cravens really love themselves. What's in here, though? Can't really tell. Uh, are they doors? Oh, it could be like it's. Uh, I think it's a model. That's cool. Okay, and there's this beam of light coming out of it that seems to be pointing round there. But, oh shit! Get my flashlight on. Yep beam of light that's going around here. I, I suppose I've got to follow it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's li lights on in this place. Oh. Oosh. What the fuck was that? I don't even know where that came from. Was that in this room? Oh crap, there's blood there. I didn't even see that. Creepy. An airy bronze statue stands atop the pedestal. It certainly does. And that painting seems has seen better days. Right, anyway. The light's telling me to go this way into this library area, so let's do that. Uh, oh, there's a book. Shall I read the book? Collected works by Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. For whosoever do not, in the truth, boasting of phantasms, brag that they can do miracles, be destinated to the torments of eternal fire. Yes, of course. I agree. Completely. Um, well, it's clear I'm not going up there. So... Me oh. Fucking book's attacking me. God damn it. I uh, can't pick it back up to put it on the shelf. That's a shame. Uh, there is a newspaper clipping, though. Describing a missing teenager named Marjorie Hedgepeth. And apparently I can use the fireplace. The heat does not reach far into this cold room. Its warmth would be comforting, except this house is supposed to be abandoned. Yet something must have started the fire. Ooh, I suppose so. That's, that's an exceptionally high ceiling right there. There's something else in the corner though. Let's have a look at this. Oh, notes of William Craven. I guess the guy who owned it. Limbo is not truly a place. Given time, those within may move, so, to our eyes, 
They appear and disappear with a horrible groan and the scent of burnt moss. How very descriptive. Well, there's clearly something wrong here. Apart from the cobwebs in between the, uh, the, the bookshelves. Uh, Paradise Lost down here, the epic poem. Uh, can't go that way. Let's try the other way. I think I could go, could go through there, to be honest. Yeah, this isn't blocked off. More books? Can I read these? Nope. Uh, press E or left mouse button to lift, drop, or manipulate. Yeah, I've got it. What's this then? D. Oh, God. Oh, dear. My pronunciation of this might be horrific. De Pre Tigis Daemonum by Johannes Wierus. Establishing a clear boundary between true sorcery and the mere illusions of mentally ill women. I'm sure that really is a riveting read, but maybe later. What have we got here then? Oh! Oh, it's another part of that little model! Hey! I. Ooh! What happened there? Something got added to the journal though. Let's have a look. I found a scale model of a wine cellar. It matches the model I saw in the entryway. So presumably I have to put it back. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That certainly wasn't like that before. Look at that. That's really cool. All the books have flown off the shelves and they've formed into piles. And I can't move them. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I've got to bring this with me, I'm sure. It's forcing me to go in between the bookcases. I don't like this. Why do I feel like one of those globes is going to fall on my head? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. So, back to this model. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ooh! Oh, what was that? Ooh! Okay. Something went terribly wrong there. Bring scale room models to the table. Yep. Yeah, I dropped it, unfortunately. Here it is. Oh, the glass is gone. Oh, right. That was what I heard. The smashing, I guess. Was that blood there? I didn't even see blood before. Anyway, yeah. Let's, uh, bring it to the table. Press E or left click. Sure. Okay, so I need to put it in its proper place on the, the model. So the wine cellar, where does that go? Red to red, I guess? Red to red? Like that? No? Uh, um, maybe red to red means it can't go there. Maybe there? No. Well, that That's where I just came from, wasn't it? Did... Did I just move the rooms? Oh my god! Oh, I, I just jizzed my pants. That's amazing. That that truly is amazing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now close it. Can I do it again? I want to have another little go at this with this amazing toy. Can I can I pick it up and move it? Yep. I place it over there for a minute. I I can't move the entryway, but maybe if I can move this to uh, that door, for instance. I think I've done it, you know. And the light's going a different way. It oh, oh, it's going up. <laughs> okay, let me just check, let me just check. That's so cool. Where'd the library bit go then? Because there was that little bit of the model. Fucking, whatever. Oh, what's that, what's that? A statue piece. A chipped br piece of bronze. Oh. Okay. An empty pedestal. Alright. Something's going wrong here. But I love the fact that I could just move the rooms around at will. This is amazing. Ha! <laughs> so, I'm going into the wine cellar from the first floor. That's great. Fucking hell, it's dark in here. I think there's a note here, though. Let's read the note. It's a notice. A notice to all Craven Metalworks employees. Thieves and layabouts shall be disciplined by Lord Craven and shall receive no wages during recuperation. Ah, that is a bummer. There's something else that's shining over there. 
painting or something? Ooh. Did you hear that? Something moved. Torn painting. Some Something tore into this painting, leaving claw marks in the frame. Okay, so... That doesn't sound good. Let's go this way. There's a little desk around here. And there's a photograph on top of the box. This photo is labelled 1857, Craven Metalworks, and depicts a grim, well-dressed man in his 40s at the grand opening of a factory. I don't think I can get a close-up of that photograph, unfortunately. This is also shining. Is that a key? No. There's a blueprint over here, though. The blueprint design is attributed to William Craven. The architecture reflects both scrupulous detail and extremely strange structural components. Well, I'd say, if you can move the rooms around at will, according to the, 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 the scale model... Oh, I didn't read this, did I? A construction budget. Within these construction expense reports are references to hidden passageways and moving walls. Hidden passageways and moving walls? This building is the bomb! Seriously. So cool. Let's go. Uh, I suppose it's got to be this way, isn't it? Shush! Fuck you! Okay. Alright. I think I'm going to enjoy filling out the questionnaire after this. It's a fucking statue, isn't it? Okay. It was standing right the fuck here. I'm certain of it. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? That's blood, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, loads of blood. Someone's been dragged through here. Shit. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's you again. That was what I saw. Hi there. Get out. Yep. All right. Oh, oh shit. Something behind me. Something moved behind me. Oh, I like this. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this game. Holy crap, this is cool. I can't go anywhere else, can I? So I've got to go back. But I can't go back. I can... I can't jump. I... Ooh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Fucking like quick time event or something. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh shit! It's like uh, wine cellar part two or something. Oh, there's another little bit of the model, a bedroom model. Ah, uh, okay. <gasps> that moved as well. Okay, great. Let's have a look at the journal. I saw something lurking in the shadows, hiding from the light. I'm not sure what it was, but I hope to not see it again. And I stumbled upon another scale room model. This one appears to be a bedroom. Alright, it says get out. I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. And I am going to try and get away from that statue. If possible. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, can I can I just close the door? Alright, I'm, I'm a bit more comfortable now. Okay, so I've got another little room to play with. A bedroom. Hang on, was that smashed before? Huh, didn't really look at it. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, I, I, I made myself a promise that I was only going to play five or ten minutes of this game, so I'm going to actually cut it off right now. Please, if you haven't already, download this game, give it a go, tell the developers what you think, help them improve it, and have yourself a blast while you're doing it.